get ready for the dictation dictation will start in 5 seconds start the overall view of the aforementioned provisions contained in buff act 1954 and buff act 1995 make it evident that even under 1954 act the survey commissioners were appointed for the purpose of making survey of buff in state the survey commissioner was duty bound to conduct the survey of WAFs in the state and after making such inquiry and he might consider necessary would submit his report in respect of WAFs existing in the state of the state government with necessary particulars copy of the said report would be forwarded by the state to the buff board which in turn would examine the report by applying its mind and thereafter would publish the notification whereas under 1995 act the buff board after examining the report forwards it back to government within a period of six months for publication in the official gazette in the state pursuant there to the state will publish the desert uh, notification the revenue authorities will consequently include the list of WAF properties while updating the revenue records thus it is implying it is clear that the conducting of survey by the survey commissioner and preparing a report and forwarding the same to the state or the buff board precedes the final act of notifying such list in the official gazette by the state under 1995 act. As mentioned supra, the list would be prepared by the survey commissioner after making due inquiry and after valid survey as well as after due application of mind. The inquiry contemplated under subsection 3 of section 4 is not merely an informal inquiry but a formal inquiry to find out at the grassroot level as to whether the property is a WAF property or not. Thereafter, the WAF board will once again examine the list sent to it with due application of its mind and only thereafter the same will be sent to government for notifying the same in the gazette. Since the list is prepared and published in the official gazette by following aforementioned procedure, there is no scope for the plaintiff to get the matter reopened by generating some sort of doubt about survey commissioner's report. Since the surveyor's report was required to be considered by the state government as well as WAF's board, as the case may be prior to finalization of the list of properties to be published in the official gazettes, it was not open for the High Court to conclude that the surveyor's report will have to be reconsidered. On the contrary, so Surveyor's report merged with the Gazette notification published under Section 5 of the WAFS Act and as such the property in question would, does not find place in the Gazette notification published under Section 5 of the WAF Act. If anybody including the WAF board or the plaintiff was aggrieved by such non-inclusion of the property in the list notified, the aggrieved person should have raised the dispute under Section 6 within a period of one year from the date of publication of the Gazette notification in the matter fully stopped.